Uh, this amendment to the interior and environment would remove unnecessary wasteful spending that's in essence a direct investment to China and reallocate it to satisfy basic safety needs in every corner of our country. As the bill is written, there are $25 million sprinkled throughout the entire report for the sole purpose of transitioning fleets to zero emission vehicles, more commonly known as electric vehicles. So this amendment moves to strike every instance of funding for electric vehicle fleet transition and instead transfer that money to the Clean Water State Revolving Funds account. The obsession with electric vehicles right now, it seems to be a publicity stunt, really taking money directly out of the pockets of our taxpayers. We have to draw the line somewhere on this, and clean water is a priority I know we all share. The Department of Interior and Environmental Protection Agency do a lot of very important work for our country, and to give them funds for electric vehicles instead of resources to advance the priorities of taxpayers makes a mockery of the appropriations process in this regard. We all come to this committee from diverse states representing different demographics. It's not by accident. It's to make sure that we are advocating for every kind of constituency in the nation. Um, my district back in Iowa needs money for flood mitigation projects to keep families, homes, and crops safe. They need money for clean water infrastructure. And I know many communities in your districts need the same. What they don't need is for these agencies to blow a bunch of taxpayer money on an automobile glow up and switch to Tesla so they can ride in style. But that's exactly what this money will be used for. It's a superficial makeover right now. And I understand the administration is justifying this by claiming the move is good for the environment. But if you look at the data, it's easy to see that is not the case here. Where do many of these electric vehicle parts come from? China. Where will this investment create more jobs? China. Who is the biggest environmental offender on the planet? Go ahead and say it with me. China. The real farce is that the environment would not even start seeing a slight reduction in greenhouse gases due to this policy for decades. The administration obviously does not realize that there is a low carbon solution here in the U.S. that not only employs Americans, it bolsters our national security and will have a stronger environmental impact. So I'm working to introduce everybody to a concept called biofuels. You may have heard me talk about it a time or two already. Um, I'm sure if you asked any expert at the Interior or the EPA what the agency needs to best accomplish its goals, electric vehicles would not be at the top of that list. It probably wouldn't be on the list at all, knowing how many priorities we have. So instead of investing in China, let's give this money back to the American taxpayers. Let's focus on the rural areas that don't have the luxury of clean water for public health needs. Every time there are heavy rains in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, a parent shouldn't worry that the family farm family home will be destroyed. Farmers along the Turkey River shouldn't be worrying that they're going to lose their crop and source of income. And an entire community in New Albany shouldn't worry that their drinking water supply will be contaminated. $25 million is a lot of money so bureaucrats can drive fancy cars. So uh, friends, please join me in advocating for the just and effective use of taxpayer money. Vote yes on Hinson Amendment number one. Thank you, Madam Chair. I yield back.